A pair of AL clubs. It's the Seattle Mariners against the Chicago White Sox. It's live at its Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. Will they be able to limit the bat of Carlos Quinton? Well, we're going to find out. We're set to go. And we'll see the Chicago White Sox playing to an eager home crowd today. I'm Gary Thorne along with Steve Phillips and John Kruk as we get ready for MLB on 2K Sports. Starting pitcher John Danks. Steve, as he gets going against these uh, Seattle bats, what's his concern? A good looking lefty on the mound right here against the lineup that can put some runs up on the board. So pretty even matchup. So it's going to come down to which side executes better than the other. Oftentimes we say good pitching can beat good hitting. Brought to you by Pepsi. Here's the offense from Don Wakamatsu. Thoughts, John? Anybody stand out? Well, every team in baseball needs a great leadoff hitter, a guy that can ignite him to get on base to help your team score a lot of runs. And Ichiro Suzuki, in my opinion, is the best there is. Let's take a look and see how he does today. The White Sox won last night. Boy, it really helps their season record. They strung together eight in a row in the win column. Oh, this club's just lost one of their last ten ball games. You talk about a hot team. This is it. A swing and a batted ball. Damon, one away. And now's a good time to take a brief look how the White Sox stack up defensively. So Steve, any individual standout? Well, they're confident with Alex Rios out there. Just a solid all-around defender with a strong throwing arm. He's a quality defensive player. And Sean Figgins to bat. Getting 250 lifetime against John Danks. Base is empty with one away. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. So Figgins is retired. And Milton Bradley to bat. Two outs, bases empty. Danks gets him to swing and miss for a strike. Two strikes on him. Milton Bradley's got to be careful here. Towards the middle. Oh, my. That almost got him. I don't know how he got out of the way. Yeah, with two down, they've got a man on board. That pitch down and away is the toughest in the game to hit. It's perfect pitch from the pitcher. Great piece of hitting. And keep that in mind next time around. We'll see whether or not he changes up and how he throws to this guy. Here's the pitch. It's 0 and 1 as he swings and misses at that fastball. Credit the catcher on that one. That's a good low target setting up, and he hit the target. Good execution. And it falls in there for a base hit. Now a look at the teams with the lowest ERA for the month, courtesy of State Farm. Number one, the Angels. Second, the A's. Blue Jays third, Indians fourth, and the Mariners fifth. We take a look at these low ERAs right here. It really points to a philosophy for the organization. Limit the damage. Don't give up the multiple runs in an inning. Give up one, but don't give up a bunch. Ball! And he lays off one, low, one and oh. Wide fastball right there, just missed, just below the right knees. One. Tell you what, a borderline pitch. I think they wanted that one bad. It's fouled off. One two pitch coming. That one is hit well. Quentin's there. That one's grabbed. Side retired. So no runs, two hits, and they strand two. And the White Sox, their first chance is coming. And we've got Yusmero Petit out on the mound. He'll be starting this one off for Seattle. As he gets into this White Sox lineup, Steve, a little strategy. A tough matchup for this right-hander on the mound against this lineup. So he's going to have to really overachieve a bit today and really execute his pitches and elevate the level of his performance to be successful. First pitch on the way to Damon. He's up for that first pitch and misses 0-1. Now, if you saw the game last night, you saw what a disappointing day he had at the plate. 
striking out three times in that one. Let's see if they can turn it around today. Change up. Thought he had it, but it's one and two. Got him. One away. This one's right down the middle. He just swung and missed at it. Number check his bat for a hole. Alexei Ramirez. And it's Alexei Ramirez now. One away. And uh, at the plate, one of the tops and runs scored. Top five. He deals. He swings on that 0-0 delivery, misses the fastball. Strike one. Oh, he's having some kind of offensive season, Gary, really in the middle of everything this team's doing offensively. Strike two. Mm -mm. Helped him out there. 0-2. Now coming up in this situation, last night took advantage of mistake pitch, so he's swinging a bat and has some confidence right now. He swings and hits this one. It's going to be fielded by Ichiro. Line up for the White Sox. Let's take a look. It is courtesy of Pepsi. Oh, who are you looking at, John? Well, all you ask from your players is to give them some consistency, and Johnny Damon throughout his career has done that. He's a guy that can hit for average. He can hit the ball of the ballpark if you make a mistake. The thing about it is, he's a winning player. It seems like any team he ever plays on, they end up winning championships. That's what you need from a veteran like him. And it's Paul Canerco now. Over his lifetime, 293 off Seattle. Two outs and nobody on. Swings a little early that time, 0 1. Strike two, no balls and two strikes. Panerko now will look to tighten up that zone. I drove in a couple runs in the ball game last night. Oh, tough one to lay off right there, the fastball, one and two. Well, anytime you have a good fastball and you can keep it down in the zone, around the knees or lower, it's great location and, believe me, very difficult to hit. And he'll step on first to retire the side. No runs, no hits, nobody across the plate in this half inning and nobody left on base. Still scoreless in Chicago. And if you just joined our broadcast, great to have you on board. 2K Sports Major League Baseball. I'm Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Cruck. And Casey Kochman to lead it off. Danks gets set and delivers. And he watches a cut fastball to start the at bat for strike one. will foul that one away. It's in there. Strike three. Casey Coxman's gone. Good movement. 89 miles per hour. He can't show the Got him looking on a breaking ball. A pitch that moves like that is something that is very useful to a pitcher if he's throwing it with confidence. And you can see that what a weapon that is. It's going to be Clement now. He fouls that one off. No balls, one strike. Here's Danks. Played by Canerco. And now, pitcher makes a nice play at first base. That was a nice play. Saw the opportunity at first. Didn't waste any time getting over. That's the key. Beat the runner to the back. Good hustle off the mound. It's going to be Wilson now. Just faced each other a couple of times. 0 for 2 against John Dank. Fastball just misses. 1 and 0. Here's the 1 0. Wilson, he takes that one. It's in there. Watches that fastball go by, and now he's at 1 and 2. Well, they set up down and away, they throw it down and away. That's how you can be effective as a major league pitcher. And a swing and a miss. Strike three on Jack Wilson. 
So John Danks gets some free up, three down. He's off to a commanding start. And it'll be the White Sox. All lit up here at U.S. Cellular Field on this beautiful night for the game. Carlos Quentin. Leading it off, Carlos Quentin. Leading the MLB in batting average. Here's the delivery. That fastball gets by him on the first pitch. 0 and 1. Back up the middle. And that one is through. First hit of the ball game for this club. Coming to bat for the Chicago White Sox. Well, a good piece of hitting right there. And anytime you get your first hitter of the inning on base, it could set up the potential for a big inning. And Beckham's in the box. No one out and a runner on first. The pitch. Hit hard to second. Tremendous situation now for the White Sox. Well, this is great patience at the plate. He lets the ball get deep in on the plate, comes in toward his hands, keeps his hands inside the ball, and drives it the other way. You make yourself a whole different ball player if you can take the ball the other way, as he just did. Watches a changeup go by for strike one. Now, Gary, the pitcher pulled the string on this one. It looks like a fastball, and then it just dies out as it gets to the plate. Good late move. Ichiro will field. And he grabs it in his tracks. That keeps those runners at first and second. And two, they pull out the double play. Gary, we talk a lot about how important defense is to a team's success. That's living proof right there. And you keep this one in mind because it's an inning offensively that didn't happen. going to be Brzezinski. Let's see the show a little more discipline at the plate tonight. Struck out twice in that game yesterday. Just expanded the strike zone. He's got to get more focus. Big cut at that one, and he missed it. One strike. His career average, and even 300 against the Mariners. Here's the delivery. And that's a strike. A.J. Brzezinski now behind on the count. Defensive stance at the plate. There's two quick strikes. Now he's ahead 0-2. Let's see if he goes out of the zone to see if he can get the hitter to chase. Fastball swung out and missed, and the side's retired. They pick up no runs on two hits and strand one. Still scoreless in Chicago. And for those of you catching up with us, hi, I'm Gary Thorne, along with John Crook and Steve Phillips, bringing you Major League Baseball here on TK Sports. It's Riggins at the plate. He's in his fifth MLB year. Danks gets set and delivers. Fastball in there for a called strike. Oh, that's a quality fastball right there. Just pounding the strike zone down and away. He had no chance to put that one in play. On the ground to second. Beckham. Over to Canerco. One away. Center fielder. Number 51. And Ichiro. Up. He is three for 18 lifetime against John Danks. And Przinski calls for the pitch. Smashes that one towards the shortstop. And that'll sit down Ichiro. That one looked like he nearly keeled over trying to make that throw. Now any throw, the key part of it is footwork. And he had good footwork right there. And that's a major league play right there. And it's Sean Figgins now. And he steals off and then he gets away with it. He's one of the league's best. Fresh count, Figgins, here it comes. That's a good pitch from Danks, it's in there. Fouled off. Oh. 
to get him to golf at that one but he lays off and uh, one two count. Flat fastball right there just missed just below the knees. Tell you what a borderline pitch. I think they wanted that one bad. He was uh, able to ring up that K and that's going to get him out of the inning. Seven pitches and it's done. That's how you save your arm and go deep into a game. And we are taking uh, an account of the ball game. Don Wakamatsu. The skipper that's happy not to have given up any runs yet but watching for that opportunity for his offense to get on the board. And Mark Tiana right there in the top five in home runs. It's 0 and 1 as he swings and misses with that fastball. Uh, Gary, he, he can really swing the bat. Just a quality approach at the plate, day in and day out. That consistency is critical to their success. And it's fouled off. Oh! Yeah, I think he caught that thing. That was a rocket. Unbelievable. You look uh, for somebody to be injured on a play like that. Instead, you got, you got a guy who caught the ball. That's why they're all patting him on the back because he saved them. There's a swing and a miss, but he's headed for first. Oh, no, and he got him. What a throw. He gets the play at first base. Hey, Gary, as soon as the pitcher lets go of the ball, he knows what can happen in this situation. He's hoping his catcher can stop it and get the out in time. Great heads up play. There's a big two right there. It's going to be Tomei now. What a year for him. Top five in homers. One out, nobody on. That ball is belted deep to left center field. Ball is on its way. Gone. That's a dinger. And they get the first run of the ball game. That solo shot, that is a big fly ball. One nothing. Gary looked like he was setting on that pitch. He got it and drove it out of the park. What they're going to want to do in this ball game now is take advantage of that and build that momentum up. Well, they need to still be aggressive out there and go right after. At the well, that's what you want. Run support for your pitching and attack the opposition. That's what the White Sox are doing right here. First pitch on the way to Damon. Half speed pitch is in there for a college strike. This is Steve, I guess, with that big fly, the inning these guys were hoping for. Well, that's exactly right, Gary. I mean, you want to have the big inning. When you get that opportunity, put a crooked number up on the board. Ichiro will field. Two men have been put away. Now we take a moment to look at the pitching staffs, allowing the fewest free passes this month. Brought to you by State Farm. The Angels, number one. The A's, second. Blue Jays, third. Indians, fourth. And the Mariners, fifth. They take a look at these teams. These are the teams that believe that their defense can make plays behind them. They're not worried about getting the strike out, trying to do it by themselves. They trust their teammates. And he's there to retire the sun. First run of the game, third inning. They'll try to build on that momentum. The White Sox are leading one to nothing. Things will start getting difficult with the third man in the order lurking ahead. And if you just joined us, our broadcast of Major League Baseball on 2K Sports with John Crook and Steve Phillips, I'm Gary Thorne. And it's Milton Bradley now. I had the hat trick last night, striking out three times in that ball game, and see if he can't make some adjustments today. Danks gets set and delivers. Looks like the cutter that time for a called strike. Okay, we're into the fourth inning right now, and as you start to flip the lineup over again, now they've only got two hits, so they're going to have to really evaluate what they should be looking for at the plate, and maybe they need to be a little bit more patient and make them work. On the ground to short, and Ramirez feels the ball, and that'll set down Bradley. A chance now to take a look at the Mariners and how they rank in the American League right now. Fourth in ERA, fifth in triples, and they're in the top 10 in team batting average with runners in scoring position. That's a real asset for any team. When you get runners in scoring position, hit the clutch and drive them in. One out, nobody on. Here's the pitch to Griffey Jr. There's a strike from Danks, now 0-1.
Here's the pitch. Oh, and two. Now with two strikes on him now, Griffey Jr. who likes to really hit from his heels, cut that swing down. Tried to get him to go after that cutter, but it's one and two. Up the middle. And that one is in there, his second hit today. And that brings up Jose Lopez. He takes this one two pitch down in the zone. He's able to go down and get it. Get a good part of the bat on the ball and pick up the base hit. That's a tough pitch to hit when you hit up the middle. And that will hold him at first. I'll tell you what, Steve, that really was a great play and well worth another look. Uh, so many good things going on right there. Well executed play. Conchman at the plate. Two for four record against Danks. Here's the pitch to Conchman. Watches that fastball. That goes by him for a strike. Outstanding mechanics right there. He gets all of his body into the pitch. Great velocity on it. A strike away. Now 0 and 2. Danks with some pitches to play with. Ball. Low and it's 1 and 2. Swing and a bouncer up the middle. And Ramirez fields the ball. And they get the force at second that time. That'll do it. See another good John Danks performance in that inning. Four innings, shutout mound work. Boy, he's keeping a tidy house right now. And it'll be the White Sox. Things will start getting a little more difficult. Third man in the lineup coming up. And Paul Federico to lead it off. Number 14, Paul Canerco. And he starts Canerco out. Up the middle, fielded by Lopez. Oh, and Canerco oh, retired. Right fielder. Number Carlos three. Quinton batting now. Carlos There's one down. Quinton. He's number one in runs scored in the league. Here's the delivery. This one's grounded hard up the middle. And it gets through two for two. Now breaking down Carlos Quentin's season so far. Let's see how he stacks up compared to everybody else. First in batting average, first in hits, and he's also first in on-base percentage. That knack of getting on base better than anybody else. He can spoil a pitcher's pitch, work the count. He knows the strike zone extremely well. That's going to bring Gordon Beckham up. Just a solid offensive player day in and day out, and a guy that uh, really can deliver for this offense. Strike two, Gordon Beckham now will have to keep an eye out on the strike zone. Now, if you didn't get a chance to see the game last night, you missed the fact Whoa. he drove in three runs in that ball game. You're and out. that one sails by Gordon Beckham. He catches him napping and strike three. Now, K Cam's going to show us a good look at this slider. Well, he'll get the batter looking at this one. What a nice pitch, low and away in the strike zone. And he's going to take a slow walk back, trying to figure out what happened in that at bat. And not a good feeling. Here's a runner on for Alex Rios. Great season, top ten in RBIs. And he starts Rios out. Has him out in front as he swings and misses strike one. Uh, one thing they know they can count on in this lineup is his bat. He has been so consistently good. That's a strike, and it's 0-2. Time for Rios now to protect. The location and velocity are critical in throwing the fastball. He runs his good fastball up and away right You're here, out. and it's a take pitch. Well, he was able to ring up that K, and he needed it, and it got him out of the inning. So you Smero Petit holding it down. We're through four in Chicago. It's going to be Clement now. He'll get a start here in the fifth. Number 23, JJ. And the first pitch. Off the plate with a fastball, and it's 1 0. They need more offense right now, Gary. I mean, you're only leaving two runners on base. You know, we're moving through the middle part of this game, heading into the later part of the game. I mean, they need to give themselves some opportunities to score runs. Patience at the plate. Get somebody on. Now, Przinski sets up. Good downward movement on that pitch. It's one and two. Boy, that good late movement down that cut fastball. Unbelievable action on that pitch. That fastball misses two and two. Good cutter. Swung on and 
miss for the first down. K Cam registers this at 86 miles per hour with some pretty good break. Well, you'll see this thing get tracked to the lower corner of the plate. It looked like the batter thought he had this one, but in the end, it was just too much for him to handle. And uh, not the way he was looking to end that at bat, John. First pitch on the way. Ball one. Cutter misses badly. 1 0. Here's the 1 0. Line softly to center field. And that's going to be a base hit for Wilson. And fans, look out for next Seattle Tuesday. Maryland. It's going to be Ryan Catcher, Braun 13, and the Milwaukee Brewers. They will make their next trip to Chicago to face the Cubs. Start time is 8 Eastern. It's Riggins at the plate. Grounded out his last time up. The first pitch. There's a strike from Danks, now 0-1. Well, if he could throw this cutter down and away like this, he's going to be very effective. That's an outstanding pitch. He's at 0-2. He watched that fastball that was in there. Swing and a miss on the cutter that time. Two down. Boy, nice looking set of pitches that time. He didn't daddle around with the strike zone. On nothing wasted, just three pitches over the plate. Sits him down. There's a runner on for Ichiro. 0 for 2 thus far. First pitch on the way to Ichiro. There's a swing and a line drive. And that ends the half inning as Ramirez makes the play. No runs on a base hit. They leave one man on at first. The shutout is still in progress here at U.S. Cellular Field. Leading it off, A.J. Krasinski. And right now, top five and runs batted in in the lead. A.J. Krasinski. First pitch on the way. Fastball swung out and missed. 0 and 1. Well, he's having some kind of offensive season, Gary, really in the middle of everything this team's doing offensively. The pitch oh. gets in front, stopped it. It's in the dirt. Swing and a high drive. This could be trouble. Tell it goodbye. They'll take that one run homer. They need that. Now the lead is two. Well, that's the second home run so far in this game off the pitcher here. So. They're looking like maybe they're starting to figure something out. You can survive the home run ball if you can spread them out, but it's getting a little dicey now. White Sox lead expanding here, Gary. They just keep getting big hits. Empty bases, three outs to go here. Here's the delivery. He swings on that 0-0 delivery, misses the fastball. Strike one. And we, we talk about how a hit or a home run can be critical at certain points of a ball game. You just saw it. Uh, now you have to wonder how long the manager's going to stick with this pitcher as he's given up the lead. So Jim Tomey coming up. Let's see what the uh, Seattle Mariners have coming up. The Chicago series ends tonight. And they'll have to contend with Denard Spann and a very good lineup for the Minnesota Twins. Great series there. That'll be a three-game series. And after that, they'll be home against the Rangers. They'll have to deal with Josh Hamilton in that power hitting lineup. For one of the more powerful swings you will ever see. I mean, Jim Tomey's a big, big man, six foot three, over 250 pounds. So if you're a pitcher and you're facing Jim Tomey, you make a mistake, there's a pretty good chance, and don't be surprised or shocked that he hits it out of the park. He homered earlier in the ballgame. Runner on first base, nobody out. Tomei gets in. Here's the first delivery. And another hit back to back. Fantastic chance here. Well, he swung the bat well in the last game, getting two hits, and he seems to be continuing it in this one. And it's Johnny Damon at the plate. One of the best batting averages in the league. Runners at first and second. Nobody out. The pitch. Clobbers this ball. A soaring drive. Deep left center field. 
gives his team a five-run lead now with a big three-run knock. Well, they're going to have to start thinking about backing some of these hitters off. They're looking very comfortable. Three home runs so far today. You can survive home runs, but you start getting to this number, and you're going to be in trouble even if they're solo. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, White Sox lead expanding here. Gary, they just keep getting big hits. Number 10, Alexi Ramirez. Base is empty and no outs. And Ramirez settles in first pitch. Swings a little late that time. Strike one. Well, Steve, we know this lineup's capable of doing this sort of thing, but boy, if you're on the other side, you got to really feel like they hit you right. Swung on and ripped towards second. That's one of the players with the most extra base hits around the league. It's courtesy of State Farm. And Paul Canerco to bat. He's the league leader in ribbies. Nobody on base, one away. Here's the pitch. Good pitch as he's late on that one. 0 and 1. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. And that'll get him aboard there on a roll. That's going to bring Carlos Quinton up. We're getting right up in the trading deadline. This is the central division at this point. Brought to you by State Farm. It's the White Sox in first. Twins in the second spot. Third, the Royals. In the fourth spot, it's the Indians. And rounding out the list, the Tigers. In the tough AL Central, we all thought the White Sox would finish down on the pack, but instead, they're sitting on top and making us all look silly. First pitch to Quinton. Swings on that first pitch. Misses the fastball. 0-1. His career batting average 309 off the Mariners. Line drive. And the White Sox, they just keep rolling. Second base. Number 15, Jordan Beckham. Hi! Well, a guy that just continues to swing the bat well in this ball game. Three hits right now so far. And it comes with one out in the inning. Can it start a rally? And it'll be Brandon Lee doing the pitching. They've decided it was time to make a change here. And Beckham's in the box. Took a called third strike in his last time up. Here's the pitch. Off the ground played by Kochman. And he gets it through. That's his second hit in the ballgame. And that's going to play Alex Rios. They tried to go down with that 0 1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. But the way he went after that in the box, Stephen, looked like he might have been guessing down there. Well, I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind him to count. Back up the middle. And it gets through as Rios brings him across the plate. They pick up a run with a single hit, Gary. The base is still loaded, so so much pressure on the pitcher. He just wants to keep it in the ballpark, see if he can't get out of it. Cast yes, to drive it around, A.J. Krasinski. Well, the direction here, Steve, for this lineup to stay in charge. Right now they are. Gary, that last hit just blows the door wide open right there. I mean, they got a shot to run away with this thing. Man, the other thing they know is they've got time and outs on their side. He deals. Fouled away. Uh, Gary, you're right. I mean, listen, as a result of executing their game plan, they've done what they needed to and taken advantage of all the opportunities. Let's see if they can keep doing it. There's contact. He drove it well. Ichiro will field. Runners on the move. And Quinton's on. And the double play. They got them both. So they're finally set down, but not before they have a big inning punctuated by two big home runs. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game.
For those of you just joining in, I'm Gary Thorne along with John Cruck and Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. And it's Sean Figgins leading off. He's the best base dealer right now in the division. Now Przinsky positions himself. Ball. Missed ball one. The pitch. Ball Lost two. the grip on that cutter and it's a 2-0 count. Well outstanding pitching effort so far here. I mean he's left three runners on base Great. in this game. I mean but he's just shutting down this lineup and when he needs to make a pitch he seems to always find a way to do it. Swung on grounded towards the hole. And he'll step on first for out number one. And here's Milton Bradley. Base is empty, one out. Bradley gets set. Here's the first pitch. Doesn't make contact on that Danks pitch. A swing and a foul off to the right side. Swung on, hit in the air to right center. And it gets down. That's hit number two, now making good contact. And that'll bring up Ken Griffey Jr. Boy, I don't know on that count, Steve. Number one, the fact that he swung is kind of a surprise. I don't know how he hit that where he was. You're right. On an 0 2 count, you have to protect the plate. Sometimes it's a defensive swing, but sometimes it works out. This one's grounded near third. Foul. Swing and a shot to third. So Griffey Jr. is retired. Almost fell over when he got to that one. Boy, there's some upper body strength on that. Well, you have to have great body control to play this game. He certainly sewed it there. And he got it. With the runner on second, Jose Lopez in. Last time up, flew up. First one to Lopez. Here's the pitch. And that ends the half inning as Ramirez makes the play. So they're shut down again. That's six shutout innings so far. Seattle's still hoping to put something up. Quick glimpse of the manager, Ozzie Guillen. Satisfied manager, I think, right now. He's got the ball club in a pretty good spot. First one to tee in. Here's the pitch. Hit hard on the ground to short. One away. Every ball club's got to have some power. Let's check out the league's top home run hitters brought to you by State Farm. Well, this is a list of hitters that strikes fear in the opposition pitching. They have to because they know with one swing of the bat, they can change the score of the game. One out, bases empty. Tomei gets in. Here's the first delivery. Swing and a rocket towards short. That's the second out of the inning. Now look at the race for the title in the Western Division. Brought to you by State Farm. Mariners in first place. It's the Angels in second. A's third. And it's the Rangers in fourth. It's Damon at the plate. He had a three-run homer last time in the lineup. He's just on a tear right now. He's seeing the ball so well. He's driving in runs. Scoring runs, hitting home runs, doing a little bit of everything to help his team win. Bases empty and two down. Now the first pitch. Swings, hits this one very high in the air. A soaring drive. Gone a home run. They add to the lead. Man, what a big day these guys are having. Shot here for Alexi Ramirez. Two down. Number 10, Alexi Ramirez. And Ramirez settles in. First pitch. Swings and misses. The sinker, 0 and 1. And a big, big offensive day, Steve. Like you said, uh, they've just got the bats rolling today. Uh, tough. It's going to be very tough for them to come back right now. With the power of numbers being there. I mean, three innings left, but an awful lot of offense. Slider swung on and missed. Struck him out. That's going to retire the side. So they pick up a run on the home run and add to their lead. 
White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. And Casey Kochman to lead it off. 0 for 2 thus far. Here's the pitch to Kochman. Ball one. Here's Danks with a 1 0 oh. pitch. Kochman will foul that one away. Well hit towards the middle. Beckham. One down. And you know he's looking ahead and feeling pretty good about it. And with good reason. He hasn't given up a run yet. And he's got to be gaining confidence. One out, nobody on. First pitch, here it comes. Ball on. one. Okay, yeah, listen, he's, he's made pitches. He's had, they've had a few base runners on against them. No question about it. They've gotten a few hits. But he's, not, he's been able to keep him from putting Whoa. hit after hit after hit together. He's kept him off the scoreboard and let his defense do the work. Danks gets set and delivers. Two and one now. Two one pitch. Great movement there, but it's three and one. Swing and a miss there. The count runs full. And now the pitch to Clement. Line drive. And it's caught by Ramirez. The question is, can he keep this going? Well, you know what? It's different for every guy. But from what we see today, he is locked in, dominating stuff, and he looks strong. Here's the first one. Liner towards the hole, and that's going to do it. Canerco's there. And now that's seven. Count him seven shutout innings going. I think he's got the stuff to do it, Gary. I think he wants to finish the rest of this game. He's got the legs. The shutout continues in Chicago. Here's a look at Don Wakamatsu. And uh, tough decisions, maybe or maybe not. This bench needs some inspiration. They'll try to give it to him. Now, Gary, I think you're losing a little something here. I don't think this guy's nearly as solid defensively as the one he's replacing. So, interesting move. Now the first pitch. Sinker swung on, missed 0 and 1. Can you say ground ball? That's what that sinker down of the zone is meant to do. In there, and he falls behind 0 and 2. But Gary, awfully tough to read this pitch out of his hand. He has great deception, makes it look like a fastball. It just comes out so much slower. Yeah. And Paul Canerco strikes out, could not make contact. Uh, Gary, he's getting that hard, boring, sinking action on that pitch today. Getting guys to swing over the top. Two strikeouts in a row. Here's the pitch. Takes a swing at that fastball. Can't connect 0 on 1. Lined up the middle. And it gets down. Hit after hit. They just keep on coming. He's got four today. That's going to bring now Gordon Beckham up. Now breaking down Carlos Quentin's season so far. Let's see how he stacks up compared to everybody else. First in batting average. First in hits. And he's also first in on-base percentage. That knack of getting on base better than anybody else. He can spoil a pitcher's pitch, work the count. He knows the strike zone extremely well. One out. Runner on at first. And the first pitch. And that's a strike. Well, maybe someone ought to have him step out for just a minute. He went after one in the dirt. Swung on and fouled away.
Now swing and a shot towards second. The second, there's one. Over to first, he is safe. Almost a double play, not quite enough time. So Alex Rios, he'll try and keep it going. Alex Rios. He delivers. There's a swing and a liner towards the gap in left field. One bounce onto the wall. The throw. He's around third and he's heading home. He's in there. Wow, tremendous hustle all the way from first. Well, that's hit number 15 in them for that one. And boy, you get 15 hits in the game. The manager can just sit back and relax and watch his team work. Second and two outs. And he dives back safely. Here's the first pitch. That one's drilled to short. And that'll retire the side. Caught by Wilson. Well, they score once on two hits, one man left. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. It's Riggins the at the plate. 0 oh for 2 thus far. Number 13, Sean Riggins. And here's the first one. And he checks his swing there, but it's in there for a strike on one. No balls, one strike. Here's Dank. Called strike at its own two. Well, what an outstanding effort. Uh, by the pitcher today. I mean, he now here's a grounder towards the hole. Oh, and out number one as he steps on the base. Number 51. It's Ichiro in the box now. Lined out in his last at bat. First pitch on the way to Ichiro. There's a strike from Danks now 0 and 1. Unless you stay back and really think about going the other way, you've got no chance of hitting that four seamer down and away. And that'll sit down each row. Boy, he made that throw a split second before he lost control of the body. Now the key was he kept his eye on the target the entire time. Big smile, he got that one done. It's going to be Figgins now. Still without a hit yet in the game. He'll get another chance here. And the first pitch. Drops down a bunt. Danks. Throw is not in time, and that will be an infield single. That's going to bring Milton Bradley up. The defense tries to get an out here, but they come up empty. Now you get a guy safe at first base. Bradley gets set. Here's the first pitch. First pitch, a fastball. That's in there for a strike. The hitter thought that ball was inside. It certainly wasn't low, and it looks like it was in there. Throws the first side is retired. And he'll head back to the dugout knowing three outs, and he's got himself a shutout. He's got it. I think the way he's pitching, I think he's going to go all the way. The White Sox still on top. Quick Time. look at Isaac Ian looking up. He has to be pleased with his team's Number performance so far today. Now, they're losing a little bit in the defensive department with this change. It may be geared more toward offense. It's just odd to make this move right now. First one to tee in. Here's the pitch. Swings and misses. The sinker, 0 and 1. He's gone two for three, lifetime off the lead. And that's a strike. Mark Tian's going to have to take very close approach on the next one. I fooled him right there. That two seam fastball has to go down in the zone to be effective, but it looked like he was looking for a different pitch. Well, he finished that one off with a strikeout. Nice pitch. That's his big out pitch, that splitter with two strikes at the go-to pitch. He's sending him home. And there's a called strike. There's a swing, a drive down the left field line. It's towards the corner. Out of here, a home run. They add to the lead. Man, what a big day these guys are having.
Well, he did it again his second of the day. And now you got to wonder, can he do another one? I uh, might get it done. And out on the mound, we've got David Artsma. He'll be relieving for the Mariners now. John, he gets going here against these White Sox bats. What are you expecting? You know, sometimes all a person needs is a chance. And in 2009, David Artsma got the chance, and he saved 38 games. He has a great fastball, above average, mid to high 90s, a slider, and a changeup. And when he has all three working, he can dominate an offense. A smash. Out of here. Goodbye, home run. They add to the lead. Man, what a big day these guys are having. Now he's locked and loaded right there. Three home runs in the day. He's obviously seeing the ball. They like they should get a click off the bat when he gets it. Well, I'll tell you what, I want to borrow his bat. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. Drill towards the hole. Well, Alexi Ramirez's season so far. Let's take a look at where he ranks compared to everybody else. Second doubles, third most in hits. And you can see that he's also not just a punch and duty guy. He's a guy that slugs the ball, ranked in the top five in slugging percentage. A guy that drives the ball every time he goes to the plate. Artsmo with the windup. Swung on and missed, 0 and 1. Well, that fastball right there, he just blew it by him. Swing and a miss. He's behind 0-2. And Paul Canerco strikes out, could not make contact. Well, just a great sequence of pitches. Three good choices by the pitcher and the catcher, and he finishes them off quickly. Well, pitchers love that. Those are short at-bats. You get it done in a hurry. First pitch to Quentin. Oh, Got on and missed on one. Hit sharply towards the hole. Now Brief moment to see who's on top in our away. State Farm League leaderboard in hits. Number 15. Jordan. And Beckham's in the box. Bounced into a fielder's choice as last time. Two down. Runners at first and second. The first pitch. There's a swing and a smash. Each a row will field. And that's the third out. That'll do it. So they get the long ball working as they have two solo homers in this half of the inning. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. Don Wakamatsu on camera. He's reflecting right now. Not uh, likely a lot of positive reflections, however, in this game. Danks gets set and delivers. And he takes a call strike. Well, we're in the ninth. Obviously, uh, he can taste the victory. He can see the finish line out in front of Gary. And you know, offensively, they just have not been able to put any sort of pressure on him. Only four runners left on base this entire game. That one headed into the corner. Going to try for at least a double. And the throw safe at second. Coming to that pitch down and away is the toughest in the game to hit. A perfect pitch from the pitcher. Great piece of hitting. And keep that in mind next time around. We'll see whether or not he changes up and how he throws to this guy. Pitch on the way. Cut fastball in there for a call strike. That is a strike 0 and 2. Cut that swing, make contact. Here's a swing and a line drive. Fielded by Ramirez. And Lopez set down. So we have a moment to check out the staffs who have been giving hitters fits this past month. Courtesy of State Farm. Number one, the Angels. Second, the A's. The Blue Jays third. The Indians fourth. And the Mariners fifth. You look at those low opponent batting averages, those really are the pitching staff with the best stuff. They're the ones that get the most outs and the most swings and misses and the most pop outs and the hitters being off balance. Quality pitching equals low opponent's batting average. Swing and lined up the middle. And that one to fall in and the run will score. 
Well, the rally here energized every new opportunity they take advantage of. JJ. All he can do as a pitcher and catcher is put down the sign and pitch to a guy's weakness. That's what they did right there. That pitch down and away. An excellent pitch, but a better job of execution by the hitter. One down, runner at first. First pitch on the way. Taps this one foul to the right. No balls, one strike. Here's that. And he fouls another one off. Headed for the middle. And it's through. Base hit for Clement. Seattle, here's their shot right now. Shortstop. That's a really good pitch, Steve, on an 0-2 offering to keep that down and in. That's a perfect pitcher's pitch. At this point, you've got to tip your hat to the batter. That's a solid job. Here it comes. Right one. Swings, hits this one in the air, down the right field line. Two away. Now down to their final out right here, Gary, so made it looking pretty dire at this point. And, you know, but listen, funnier things have happened. They've got to get base runners, though. And Bard's in the box. And a grounder is at the last out. And that'll do it, everybody. That's out number three. This ball game over. White Sox win this in a lopsided victory. Dominating performance, Gary. Well, that time, let's take a look at our Pepsi Clutch performer. Definitely a difference maker in this one, John Danks. Well, you know, Gary, he made just that one mistake, but that doesn't tarnish the shine of this performance today. And I'll tell you what, a manager absolutely loves it when he doesn't have to go to the bullpen. He can give those guys a day off, and it makes them stronger for the remainder of the season. But I tell you, this guy was throwing strikes today, and it was an easy decision to keep him in the game. Steve, it seemed like they knew from the get-go they had it. This was going to be their day, and they were right. Uh, you and I like the close games just because there's a little more intrigue for all nine innings, but the hometown fans, they like the offensive explosion and the big win. Now that time again, thanks for being with us today, Major League Baseball. For Steve Phillips, John Crock, and the rest of our great 2K sports crew, I'm Gary Thorne. Thanks, everybody.